According to a story from The Hollywood Reporter, Warner Brothers' upcoming Wonder Woman movie has found its director. Breaking Bad executive producer Michelle McLaren will develop and direct the first Wonder Woman film starring Gal Gadot. McLaren has directed several episodes of Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, and 11 episodes of Breaking Bad. John, was this the right move for Warner Brothers? Um, in midst of a, a, a collection of things that all could have been Good decisions? Yes, this is one of the good decisions. I, I think this is a good choice. I think there are other choices that would have been good too. Like we actually talked about that uh, about a week ago. But I think this is a good one. My one concern, and this is just a concern, I'm not saying this is why it's not gonna work. No, no, just concern, a little concern. It's that coming out of the world of television, she's got so much experience directing television where you are afforded the luxury that, oh, I can take 12 episodes this year to set up my characters, get the plot introduced, do the plot resolution and bring it to a climax. I can I can do that over the course of a year, over 12 episodes. Now you got to do it in, you know, 110 minutes, you know, 120 minutes at one time. But directing is directing, you know, and she's proven herself. Look, Breaking Bad, also an executive producer on the show, Game of Thrones. She's got the pedigree. I think it's a very interesting choice to get a, a female director to be the first female director of the new era of DC and Marvel films. Um, so I think this is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. I think this is a good move. I think it's a good move also. My, my thing was always not, it's to throw in, whether it be a woman director, a man director, whoever, it's who the best director is for the job, who yeah. had the best take inside the meeting, who knows the characters, and who knows what, the, she, she obviously has dealt with character work. In television, you deal with a lot of characters. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> it, it, that to me shows that they want to deal with, they want someone in there who's going to really develop the character of Diana, of, of Wonder Woman. You have to, because she is an unknown in the film, in, in the film universe right now. As, As a, a character, character yeah. I understand, everyone knows who she is, but in the film world, we we have not seen her really ever. So let's get her in the film. Let's have a director that can really develop the character. Let's learn more. I'm all for it. Sure. Yeah, I, I think it's a great choice. She's done these three different kinds of genre television shows. And when you're running a television show, it is like a, every episode is like a mini movie. Mm -hmm. And so she's coming from like this, you know, like she was in the army. And she's like, she just graduated. You know what I mean? It's like sort of like, I think it's a really smart decision for filmmakers especially production companies, to hire TV directors because they're used to, like, we need to get this done in 16 weeks. Really, I only had two weeks for my episodes, you know, so <laughs> yeah. I have a luxury now. So I think it's a great call to get this uh, director. TV's changed so much, too. In, yeah. In regard, like, for HBO, like you said, mini movies and everything, it's, it's so different. It's what back in the day with TV directors just doing, like, sitcoms. It's a yeah, bit yeah, of a yeah. risk. Yeah, it's a different story. So, yeah, now it's, it, it makes sense. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.